All right, people, pay attention because I'm only going to say this a whole bunch of times. I keep getting asked why, you know, this lake or that lake did not make the list. And this is because it's only lakes that I have personally fished that I've actually recorded a video on and uploaded to YouTube that I'm considering for this list. Currently, I got about 85 lakes that I've uploaded from Wisconsin, and most of these are in the northern Wisconsin region. And this is solely based on my experience fishing the lake once on some random day. And um, I consulted with Reggie too, to kind of see what his list was and I can combine them together. And we came up with one list. All right, let's get started. That's better. All right, hey everyone, my name is Randy and this is Wisconsin's top five worst lakes to fish. <laughs> and by, you know, worst lake, I mean, I've never had a bad day fishing. I just went through the, you know, the 85 lakes I have on there and I picked the five that I probably enjoyed the least or caught the least amount of fish on. So uh, I'm not gonna say they're bad lakes, they're just lakes that, you know, I fished once and said, yeah, pricey enough, don't need to go back. So let's uh, start off with a bang here and make a whole lot of people mad. <laughs> We're gonna go number five, and by the way, I'm only doing five lakes because it was really tough to come up with, you know, bad lakes. Um, I didn't want to put too many in the list, so these are only the top five. And number five is Lake Namakagan. Oh, Namakagan. Namakagan's like that beautiful girl that you've been after for years. And just when you think you're making progress, she goes, you know, I love you as a friend. Oh, it just breaks my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Namakagan, you're a beautiful lake, and I really tried to fall in love with you, but you know, you broke my heart not once, but three times. That's right, I kept going back, hoping things would be different. Same old story every time. I didn't catch hardly any fish. All right, now to be fair, I did talk to a guy that's local to this lake, and he said the key to fishing Namakagan is to use live bait, which we didn't do. So, <laughs> Namakagan, I just wanna say, it's not you, it's me. And I think it's time we just move on. All right, moving on to number four. This is Gilmore Lake. Small little lake up by uh, Minong, Wisconsin. You probably never heard of it. And uh, to be fair on this lake too, we fished it on an extremely windy day. Um, this is one of those lakes that I have a hard time fishing because it's a deep lake with really steep shorelines and didn't give me many places to fish. Um, it is in a nice, beautiful country setting, so the area was nice. Um, what we ended up doing is going all the way up to the north end and found kind of the shallow area and had some nice weeds and Reggie caught a northern pike and a bass. And that's all we got, and we spent pretty much the rest of the day trying to get the boat back on the trailer because it was that windy. Um, and this is the only place I've ever fished that there was a warning sign at the dock that said, use at your own risk. And believe me, it was in pretty bad shape. Okay, let's go to number three. This was part of our ice fishing trip up by Rhinelander, Wisconsin. <clears throat> Now we thought this lake looked pretty good. Uh, it's part of the Wisconsin River, it kind of widens out there. And uh, there was a lot of people fishing out there. And again, to be fair, on this, <laughs> this lake, we went out there and the ice was just terrible. Um, I found a spot on the, see the east side of Boom Lake there where it, on the map it showed a bunch of fish cribs. I thought, why isn't anyone fishing over here? There's all these cribs and it looked like a good spot. <laughs> so I started driving my four-wheeler over there and I started breaking through the ice and it got really sketchy and we just did a U-turn and came back and uh, got out of that spot. But uh, we tried a few different places there. The water was uh, very murky. I had the underwater cameras going and I couldn't see a thing. It was so cloudy down there. So I didn't like the poor visibility. We caught, heard the, I don't think we caught any fish. And uh, I did talk to some locals there too and they said they usually kind of go up the river a little in some of those little basins and bays in there and that's where they catch their fish. So maybe it just wasn't the right spot or maybe if I went back in the summertime I'd have a little better luck. But uh, the one time I went there it was not good at all. All right, moving up to uh, 
Number two, this is the Eau Claire Chain of Lakes. This is just uh, north of Hayward, Wisconsin. Uh, I was told there was some big walleye in there and uh, it sounded like it was a really good lake. We got up there and it's just one of those pristine wilderness, you know, not many homes surrounded by trees. The lake looked beautiful. And there's three lakes. You got uh, upper, middle, and lower Eau Claire lakes. So I fished all three. This was in the winter time. Um, <laughs> should have known better when we got there. We were the only ones on the lake. And um, I couldn't figure out why. But I went and tried a few spots and the water was super clear. You could see forever. It looked like it had good bottom structure. It just looked like a super good lake. We hardly saw a fish. I think after fishing all three lakes, I think I saw one little perch swim by. So this was three solid days of fishing with nothing. So I don't know where the fish are in this lake. Maybe you've been there and had better luck than me, but uh, uh, maybe I just need to go back in the summertime and try it. But anyway, this was, uh, uh, <laughs> I think was it, yeah, went to middle Eau Claire Lake, and this was <laughs> in the middle of a big uh, a windstorm. We were trying to put up the shack, and we were just getting blown over, so the weather was terrible, uh, no fish, and it was just freezing cold out. So we kind of didn't have such a good time up there. And anyway, I think the locals will be happy that uh, I'm putting this as a lake not to fish because I noticed some reason up in this area of Wisconsin, you get in that northern area where, you know, it's very rural. Um, people up there tend to like to have the lakes to themselves and uh, they don't like it when visitors come up and fish their lakes. <laughs> Believe me, I've been told, uh, stay away. So don't worry about it. I'm not going back up to those lakes. Uh, even the bait store there. We only found one bait store near there, and when we went in, I mean, they acted like they were upset that they had to actually work and, you know, provide service to us. So usually you go to a bait store, and they're all happy to give you tips and stuff about the lakes and sell you some bait, and these guys just kind of rolled their eyes at us and just like, oh my gosh, I got to wait on these people. So <laughs> anyway, not the best experience up there. Beautiful lakes. Um, lower Eau Claire, the ice... Um, it's open water where the landing was, so we couldn't even get on the lake. So we just kind of fished off ashore, just threw some baits in. There's a dam right there. But uh, yeah, probably won't be going back to that lake. All right, we're already up to number one. <laughs> this is Moose Lake. So just want to be clear, there's more than one Moose Lake in Wisconsin. This one, we were fishing near the Turtle Flamble Flowage and just looking for another lake to fish, and it's uh, real close to there. Uh, a couple years prior to this, we were fishing the Chippewa Flowage and fished a moose lake next to the Chippewa Flowage. And the whole time I was up here fishing this moose lake, I thought it was the lake I already fished down by the Chippewa Flowage and didn't realize it was a different moose lake until uh, afterwards. But this lake, it's about as secluded as you can get. You go back on this long dirt road, way back in the middle of the woods. Uh, and when you get to the lake, it's a very primitive landing. And it's, uh, well, let me just say, the worst mosquitoes I've ever seen. Uh, it's pretty swampy back there. So the landing, when you get in, it's full of sticks and hazards. It's just got that nasty smell of swampy mud. And oh my gosh, just like, I didn't know if we were gonna make it in there. The mosquitoes were so bad, I just about couldn't take it. Um, then you go through this kind of long little channel, dodging all this, you know, bogs and logs and everything else until you get out into the open lake. Uh, very dark red stained water, supposed to have some muskies in there. And we didn't see a fish. I think uh, one spot we found some lily pads and I, I think I had a bite in there, but that was it. No fish and a lot of work to get out there. On the plus side, beautiful wildlife. We saw a lot of eagles and other wildlife soaring around. And once we got out in the middle of the lake, we shook off most of the mosquitoes. So uh, it was fairly pleasant once we got out there. Just didn't catch any fish. So if you want to put in a lot of work, get eaten alive, <laughs> you can go out to Moose Lake. All right, so that's my top five anyway. Uh, you know, anytime you get out, enjoy the outdoors, it's a good day. You know, like I say, never had a bad day fishing. Um, each one of these lakes was an adventure. I don't regret fishing any one of them, but 
Like I said, I probably won't be going back anytime soon to these lakes. All right, now I'd love to hear if you have a horrible lake that you fished, uh, one that you'd probably never go back to again after fishing it once. And uh, now I understand there's several of you out there that hate it when I point out lakes because you don't want people fishing your favorite lake. So I'm not looking for lakes that you're just trying to get people to stay away from because it's your favorite lake. Uh, if you got any lakes that you absolutely like, this is a terrible lake, no need to fish here. Love to hear about it. Just put it down in the comments or you can always email me at randy at gomidwestfishing.com. All right, if you'd like to know what lakes I picked for best lakes to fish in Wisconsin, you can find that video right up here. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.